So sushi has been in the food scene in America for quite a while now, but recently a whole bunch of different sushi trends started popping out of nowhere. We had sushi burgers, sushi burritos, sushi cakes, sushi donut, and now we have the sushi taco. I've actually never had the chance to try out these different sushi trends before, but personally as somebody who loves tacos, I knew I had to recreate this dish while putting on my own unique twist on it, and that's exactly what I did. And oh my god, it turned out hella bomb. Let me show you guys how I did it. So first we're going to cube our sashimi grade salmon and we're going to marinate that in some soy sauce and sesame oil. Now to make sure we actually have some Mexican flavors in this dish, we're going to slice up some tomatoes, red onions, jalapenos, green onions, cilantro, and we're going to add all of that into a bowl. Add a squeeze of lime, some salt and pepper to taste, and we have pico de gallo. For the sushi rice, we're going to heat up half a cup of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, quarter cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. Mix that into two cups of cooked rice and we're done. For some of the garnish later on, I'm just thinly slicing some radish and some cucumber. So to make the shell of the sushi taco, we're going to start off by using one sheet of nori, adding a plate on top, and we're going to cut around it. Next, we're going to make a quick tempura batter. So just follow the instructions on the box. Once it's mixed, you want to take a nori sheet, dip it in one side. We're going to fry that with the batter side up and flip it once. Then we're going to take it out and just mold it like so. Now here's a really quick garnish that you can use to add a lot of height and volume to your dish. So we're going to thinly slice some green onions, throw it into a bowl of ice water, and we're done. So to plate the dish, we're going to start by adding sushi rice to each one of these shells. We're going to throw our salmon on top. And then aside from the garnishes and the pico de gallo that we made earlier on, I'm just adding in some toppings that I found at my local Asian supermarket, including unagi, crab meat, seaweed salad, and some masago. And lastly, I'm just going to top it off with some sesame seeds. And we're done. Now, after all that work, let's give it a taste. Yo, that is so bomb. The pico de gallo gives this huge contrast of flavor because you're expecting some sort of sushi flavor but then once you're hit with the pico de gallo you get some sort of acidity, you get that freshness from the cilantro and then you get the green onions as well. It's totally new. Try this dish out, you are not gonna regret it. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with all your friends and if you have any food ideas that you think could be the next potential sushi trend, leave it in the comment section below and maybe we can create it together. Anyways, I'll see you guys in next week's video.